so beautiful it is. Oom teen, staat toen jy dit al via. It is working hard to get through the mid break. Yo wee! And it's splash! <laughs> thumbnail, thumbnail! Kijk nou die metaller. Dwars met die regering. It's gonna be a busy day here at St. Lucia Lonshite. I have to move Welcome more to north. Uh, yes, more north. north. And, and that's the Gulu. With Gosh. Anton and Sean. Yeah, the motors is trimmed high there, pushing away from the sand, coming into the channel. Floating nicely there. Sikula is floating nicely. Yes, he's on the power. Well, not on the power, he's just testing the power. Coming into the gully. Yo, and it closed up badly in front of Sikula. Children playing there in the water. And we've got a flyby with yellow bull stalk here. Just, just look at that. We are flying as a sortie. Anyway, back to Sukulu. Floating there on the climax sand bank, waiting for the sets to wash through. A very safe space to lie there. A lot of deep water, a lot of place to turn. Just south of the climax sand bank. Running for the back line. Mid break up. Running for the mid break. Turning north. Using the speed and the size of Sukule to get through there. Slowing down. Through the mid break. Just to deal with the back line now. And that is going to do a slow route because the boat is big enough. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. And that is Hanok on the launch pad. I don't see Hanok shed yet. Yeah? Akshok, I mean. Look at that mess of some BC over there. And Oki being pushed. Hanok is floating. But it's very shallow and the big shark is just on the other side of it. Look there, you can see it. Look, 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 look. Viking! I'm not floating nicely into the gully. Don't see any sharks walking with Oki this morning. The gully closed up ugly for Oki. When they started this morning it was such a beautiful gully. And then five minutes later it turned into a washing machine. Ah, oh, there's the gap. It's opening up again.
getting over it another one pushing through happy hunting enjoy the day and that is Petronella being pushed by Wiseman this is Buckman I got the boats wrong there's another sensation in Buckman is a different color hey Petrus anyway We'll do Petronella, then we'll show you up. No, we won't show you how Pugman looks like until the launch. Petronella's coming into the gully, hugging the southern sandbank there. Eh? What a beautiful setting to launch in today. You can hardly see the boats. So beautiful it is. Woof! <gasps> Forties on the twenty-two foot V kit. Rock solid boat, but the twenty-one foot is much lighter and much more nose light. Mumtian had to work hard to get out of this gully this morning, and now he's in the northern hemisphere. Oh, where's the boat? And he's turning east, and he's through the mid break. Well done, Umi. Happy hunting, enjoy the full fresh being pushed. Jehovah Rafela arriving. distance Maverick is working his way out of the gully that your has chose for them looking at how he's just lying there and the waves on top of each other this northern gully seems to be the better choice Full the thrust coming right into the direct sunlight here easing his way into the gully to 94 stroke Suzuki and the rebuilt 19 foot the outcat look at that side wash pushing in he's running into an ugly mid break there he's gonna take 45 degrees south exit but he's working hard to get through the mid break yo we Jou moerman, jou vrou was my fokken onderkere vandag. Wat is jou story? Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Temptation, the next one on the push. Wasman leaving in, right in the channel. Can turn north now. Don't need to turn north on the sandbank. Mora is on tow. Teller 3 arriving. Yo, it's a busy beach this morning. Temptation is nicely in the gully. 45 north or 45 south? He's facing them east at the moment. The mid track in the gully has turned ugly for him. 
going a little bit more north into the gully, a couple of yards. Uh, he's facing them again east and that's to the south, 45 to the south opened up for him. He doesn't like the 45 to the south, but he's going to have to take it. And he's running for it. And a big one is in front of him, a huge one that he gets right through the saddle. Well done Temptation. That's very nicely done. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Who's next Wiseman, who's next? Somebody got stuck? Or are you just lining up? Why are we waiting? Against all odds is the other sensation boat. And look, that's against all odds. <laughs> Pac-Man looks totally different. My humble apologies, gentlemen. My humble apologies. When the railway was still, was still working, we would have called this Joburg or Durban station. But ah, uh, Praza buggered it up, so now what we call it? Against all us, made the poo poo. He tried to pull a land cruiser over the dune, dragging an anchor. That's going to be interesting. You need a wise man there. And that's Viking being pushed there. Viking coming across. Now sky just being spiteful. Right in front of my can launch gully. I came all the way north so that I can have a clear shot. What a sky! Viking turning a little bit short in front of that southern uh, sandbank. He's got an ugly hand dealt with him and he's got a nice beautiful spring over there of muddy water. But he worked his, his way through. But he's well aware of how suddenly they pick up so he's not going to run for a gap that he's not confident with. He found 145 degrees south, actually 90 degrees south if you ask me, 180 degrees south. And he pushed nicely through that one. Well done, Viking. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. That is a Izan honoring us with his presence there. On sidestep, where is sidestep now? Come is on, dial yourself in. We know you can do it. It's also taking a southern approach over the sandbank. I hope it works well for him. Gully is way more to the north, but anyway. Keep her to his own, eh? Boat has got a very shallow draft, so sandbank shouldn't be a big problem for him. It's just making sure everything on the boat is right, because he's going to punch it now. I have to go to the viewfinder, guys. I can't see anything. Waiting his turn right, right on the edge of the southern sand bank. That's where delicacy must judge himself and got stuck on the sand bank. But we've got a much higher tide this morning, yeah? 
nice little wash over there, over the nose. And that is right over the nose again. Oh, it's on. And there can you know clocked in the coconut here. And he turns tight into it. Well done. Another wash over there. And they're showing the southern flat 45 degrees south. But he's right in the washing machine. He has to work. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've spent many mornings here with him. They're gonna be I don't know that this son is gonna have a earful this morning. <laughs> I know he's on. Are you getting through the gap? Yes, he's gonna get it through the gap. Don't tell me he's running on one motor there. What's some dirt doing behind the, the windshield? Nope, he's not running with one motor. Well done, happy hunting, and enjoy your egg dog. <laughs> Climax back on the job, three spirit one running into the gully. Also going to take the 45 degree south exit option, and he got the gap right. You can't let your confident waver when you entering this ocean. You have to be on top of your skill level, your confident level. Be some sort of a cowboy, but not too a dangerous one. Wiseman came to the aid of against all odds. Ocean commotion. And that's Dion with Wave Dancer arriving there in the low water mark. Free Spirit 2 being pushed, Sky the Twig floating into the channel, Darren Watkins deckhand. Not a bad fishing team there. Somebody else didn't deflate the bucket tires to one bar. Now they need the tuck. Free Spirit using the power and speed and the size of the boat turning a little bit short of the sandbank and he bumps into that one. And he splash! <laughs> thumbnail! Thumbnail! And he splash! <laughs> Well done Sky. And if you carry on that angle we're gonna have another one. Nope, you got through the gap. I've got a choice of thumbnails today. Full thrust, a sidestep, free spirit. I can have a launch video all by itself today. Anyway, 5 star with Dirky Roslier being pushed. No, it doesn't work my friends. Tires must be 0.1 or below, otherwise the vehicle is going nowhere. Anyway, back to 5 star. He's right on the sandbank there. Yo, that's very short. I don't hope he doesn't get problems with shallow water. So far it looks good. Ah, 
that's it right there on the sand right into that one got in front of it yo look at five star going it's just over that one sideways well saved there Dirky. well saved five star turning a little bit southeast to get through the mid break climbing over that big one happy hunting enjoy the day the next boat on the launch pad is uh, all in a sensation boat book from black boat I've seen them turning and swirling yeah twirling here in the surf um, so I know now why book from black like this boats Motor still kept high, pushing hard. It's a little bit earlier over the sandbank there, all in. He got over it, yes, without eating any sand. That's what the deep V is made for, is to handle this surf conditions right here. Pushing east and he's going to get through that one. Yes, use the deep V for what it's built for. No mistakes there. Well done. A happy hunting. And last one is the back line and he's over it. Enjoy the day. Peter Blom on Jehovah Rafeka. That means God is the healer. Or God the healer, depending on how you want to pronounce it. coming into the gully playing it safe not taking a chance over the sandbank yes you might get some splash over here but if you uh, patient patience then uh, you will get the gap nicely sorted either 45 north or 45 south now, very few people know this about Peter Blum but he used to teach a launching he had a position in a launching school at Sudwana Bay so very skillful skipper educated many people now to read the ocean and this experience shows right there very difficult launch conditions she had St. Lucia Estuary this morning very well executed by Jehovah Rafeka happy hunting enjoy the day Buckman doing what a deep V on a pole does best, broadsides on the push, floating nicely in the channel. It's very shallow in front of you, Buckman. Come north, come north. Yeah, come more north. It's still not over the sandbank. Still not in front of the sandbank. More, 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 more. You have the edge of the sandbank, but you, I would have come a little bit more north. Anyway, it's a deep V. It can handle all those waves. Nose on, one at a time, no problem. That's where delicacy got stuck. Don't know if the tide is going out or coming in. Pacman is coming around the nose of the sandbank. He's going a little bit more north. You hear that 152 stro four strokes roar there. Bringing the boat onto the plane. Using the speed 
and the agility of that sensation look at that boat I'm getting respect for those boats Well done, happy hunting, enjoy the day. No, we're not through yet, we're not through, we're not at the beyond the back line yet. But Wiseman is already pushing. Okay, bye, enjoy the day. Guys, that is legacy. There's a huge difference between the names delicacy and legacy. Now, legacy is a charter operation. I've had one or two mishaps punching a wave but that's about it look at that 830 carry cat fly with a two, 204 strokes Suzuki's on the back Stewart using the speed of the boat to get through the surf and the back that one is closing up in front of him slowing down going through the curler well done perfectly executed happy hunting enjoy the day Azonto one of the skippers that is very very patient eases his way right through everything oh, he's on the sandbank there he's gonna cross the sandbank very very early Height is down, so he's confident the water is deep enough. Nope, he's running more north. But just to get in front of that one, now he's looking for his gap 45 degrees south, and there's nothing. Look, <laughs> patience, Azonto. It's gonna open up for you now, and he found that. Nope. Now he's figured out that there's a lot of time between the waves and he can wait them out if he gets his the position right there's one coming from the south onto his shoulder he's pushing for the mid break and it's closing up in front of him but if he goes 45 degrees south he's going to go through the saddle over there hey that is not that's not nice but he got in front of it in time over that curler beautifully executed not quite the back line yet happy hunting enjoy the day tell us three 800 sea cats the sea cats has got I think for the sandbank to the north Kalas arriving in front of us. Kalas 3 also going earlier over the sandbank there. Yo! Okay, we know it's a big boat. Oh. Do you have to give us the butterflies on the beach? Keep them for yourself there on the ocean. And he found his gap to right east and he's running to get in front of that one and he's pushing right through it. Got the mid break opening up perfectly for him right for him right east. Well done Tella. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Ocean commotion. We know exactly how Jan is going to handle this. We've seen it before. Yeah, I can't stand that angle now. My body is aching. Ocean commotion got the angle perfect in front of passing the front of the southern sandbank. Coming at the angle into the gully. And he's got a gap today. He 
he's got a beautiful gap today. It's just that one closing up in front of him, but that's not the problem for Ocean Commotion. He's right over it. Another one turns a little bit to the south, misses it. Another one turns a little bit to the north, misses it. Experience showed right there. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Leon Stein on Wave Dancer. People communicate well like Andres and Leon. The job goes down smoothly. Not, I'm not talking only about the launching here, everybody communicates well. I'm talking about life in general. That's Wave Dancer pushing for the mid break. Don't bring the big boat onto speed. 930 Sports Fisher with two, 204 stroke Suzuki's on the back. He's running his north, he likes his north exit. And he's going a little bit more north. He found his gap to the east and he's turning east. Southeast to come a little bit back sideways over them. Well done Leon, happy hunting, enjoy the day. Mons on Asterix 21 foot V Cat 290 four stroke Suzuki's on the back. Amazing what that V Cat got a 22 foot hole so wrong. Slowed down, he didn't print us an asterisk there. He's stingy with the asterisks these days. Just punch it with the right amount of power. And he's through the mid brake. Also came 45 degrees south to find the gap. Well done, Mons. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Amazing Grace pushing with the motor trimmed high. Tight has gone out a lot. The sandbank is exposed a lot. And he's going to cross it. It's not going to get stuck though. Doesn't look like it. A little bit 45 north, I can't see anymore. Oh, he's still in frame. And he's going a little bit to the south, 45 degrees south now. Keeping it on the just before the plane so that he's got enough power to get onto the plane if he needs to and enough time to de accelerate if he wants to, like now. Slowly over that one. And he's pushing hard for the back line. He's through the mid break. He got a beautiful gap there. All the way to the back line. There, the back line is standing up in front of him, but that is a non-event for Amazing Grace. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Climax being pushed by Wiseman. Theo is the skipper. 800 uh, Sea Cat with all the trimmings on. Electrical gadgets. Timex coming north. Oh, run smoothly with those Yamaha's on, on, basically on idle. Getting nicely into the gully this time. 
mm. running for the, the sand bank. It's a little bit deeper this time, but yeah, he's gonna miss the front of the sand bank beautifully there. On speed, cut the 45 degree to the north exit out of the gully. Closing up a little bit on the shoulder, but that's not a problem. Look at that 900, 800 CK running there, turning east. Beautiful launch. Happy hunting. Enjoy the day. Let's see Angel being pushed by Wiseman. It's nicely in the channel. And now I'm getting a battery warning. Why now? Nicely into the channel. Very experienced keeper showing right there. Getting the line in the channel right. Twenty-two foot the outcat. Two one forty-four strokes Suzuki's on the back. Slowing down so that he can work his way through those ones finding his gap 45 degrees to the north is immediately on the speed look at that boat go turning north going parallel he's running close to 4,000 maybe 4,500 rpms there lost focus for a second sorry guys but we're back he's got through the mid break uneventful using the speed and the agility of the 22 foot Hellcat happy hunting enjoy the day Scala's being eased into the water there by Wiseman nice big wheel out on the boat let's see if we can see what type of boat it is ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a battery swap. Sorry guys. And I'm just gonna have to do winging it. I'm back after the battery swap and Scalas is on the power. So I'm not back on the monopod yet. This is freestyle. Sometimes I get it better, right better with the freestyle. Sometimes not. Scalas got a beautiful launch there. Right through the mid break, got a beautiful gap. Although the gully is not very nice, colors got it right. Happy hunting guys, enjoy the day. Pop is floating. Pushing hard onto the sandbank on the opposite side. Looks like it could be deep enough to cross. Nope, not. Oh, he's floating over it. He's turning back onto the sandbank because it closed up in front of him. Coming back into the channel. Going a little bit more south. And he's stuck on the sand. Okay, he's gonna do a different today. 
coming back into the channel on speed running into the mud brake it's opening up for him got a very nice timing on into the mid break there well done whip up happy hunting enjoy the day